In today's episode, we're going to go over maybe around six or seven things that you can expect from the new normal here in the Philippines. Ano ibig sabihin ng new normal? What does new normal mean? It's when the ECQ is left, lifted and we go into GCQ or whatever the next phase is. And this is based from a bill that was filed in the lower house of representatives or the Congress here in the Philippines led by none other than Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano. So I went over the bill and I'm going to share with you some of the points that I found interesting and hopefully it gives you guys an idea of what the new normal will look like for the Philippines. Hopefully by May 15. And at the very end, para naman good vibes tayo, we're going to unbox this brand new Yeezy 700 uh, that was sent over by our good friends from Seoul Republic. Let's go! Now, I won't read the entire build because you guys can just do that yourself. So I'll go over some of the major points that I found interesting. If you want to read the whole thing, I posted photos of the bill on my Facebook page. The link to that can be found down below. So the first interesting thing is universal and mandatory safety measures. So what does uh, that By the way, I'll be speaking in Tagalog in English because dominantly the people who will be watching this particular video will be Filipino. So it's, I'll mix it up a bit. So mandatory safety measures. Automatic, paglalabas ng bahay, come ECQ, uh, pag alis ng ECQ, again, ito na new normal natin, uh, you need to wear masks. So if, regardless if you're just going to a store, if you're going to the mall, if you're going wherever it is that you're going, you are expected to wear a mask. Up until a vaccine is found, you need to wear mask and practice sanitation. So ang mangyayari dyan, lahat ng mga office na magbubukas, kung alin man yung magbubukas, kailangan meron uh, alcohol para makapag-sanitize na maayos, uh, you should be wearing masks inside the office. And the second point is that offices and workplaces will have to adjust so that sanitation is there. And number two, social distancing is applied. May nakita akong video sa CNN uh, in Wuhan where they lifted the the quarantine or the lockdown already. Dun mismo sa elevators, they had like spots where you can only stay. So at the four corners of the elevators, only four people at any given time. So you can expect that. If offices reopen, if workplaces reopen, you will be, you know, expected to wear masks. There will be sanitation measures all over the place. They'll probably get your temperature and, you know, all of that stuff. And pagpasok yung sa mga places, kailangan ma-adjust yan. Yung mga co-office, yung mga lamesa, kailangan ma-practice ang social distancing. I think... Uh, a lot of offices because they have this tendency of cramming a lot of people in a small space that won't work anymore so they have to fix that okay, a few more interesting points ito naman for the different types of businesses what you can expect so restaurants so this includes of course cafes fast foods can resume operations however there is a big however only with takeout or delivery service gradually they will reopen dine-in but there has to be uh, social distancing measures apply. So tables have to, to be like two meters apart yata from what I'm reading here. So mas malayuan, bawal na ang buffet kasi magdidikita ng mga tao doon. So ang daming may impact na business dyan. What about the buffet only restaurants? Uh, what about the fast foods who have cram tables? So these are the new realities, the new normals that this particular business type uh, will have to take into account. And of course, kasama na yung constant disinfecting of the restaurant. Now, the bill also says that for groceries, malls, banks, boutiques, so kasama dito yung mga SM, mga Ayala Land, when and if they open, there's a maximum number of people allowable inside na kailangan bantayan ng mga guard. Uh, of course, you have, they have to take your temperature as well. And then, implement cashless, contactless sales and customer service. So, ibig sabihin niyan, probably they'll encourage that you use QR codes for payments, Paymaya, Gcash, all of that stuff. So, that's what the malls would probably look like. Now, what about schools? So, this is where it becomes interesting. So, integrate online classes in the curriculum. Uh, promote creative ways for student learning engagement without physical contact. So, that's going to be challenging, but kailangan. Provide staggered school days and smaller class sizes. Pag on-site classes or Zoom. So, pwede a specific number of students, MWF, specific number, TTH, para lang mas lumuwag. And then they will probably combine it with online learning para yung hindi maturo sa classroom, they can still teach you online. And that also applies to office spaces and workplaces. I forgot to mention that earlier. So, pwede maging mix of uh, work from home, telecommuting, and on the certain days, you get to go to the office. So, it's, it's kind of hard to imagine everybody going out of the house, going to their offices 
100% once this is lifted. So, dahan-dahan yan. So, madalas pa rin ang online calls. Madalas pa rin ang mga video calls. Now, a big part of this bill is actually Section 7 because this is where all the major digital and IT changes will happen. Ito yung para magiging digitization ng Pilipinas. So, the first part is fast tracking and full implementation of the Philippine Identification System Act. So, pwede tayo magkaroon ng Philippine ID, National ID System. Uh, the details, I think, they will probably discuss in future drafts of the bill. Uh, number two, full implementation of the National Broadband Program. Number three, establishment of e-government services. Napaka-importante niyan. Dapat talaga hindi na natin kailangan pumunta sa mga government offices, pumila to avail of whatever it is that they are offering. Sana isang app na lang kung kailangan mo ng a birth certificate, marriage certificate, kung kailangan mo mag-register para sa negosyo, kung pwedeng lahat virtual, online, bayad, pati digital, that would be really the best thing. That's that's the only good thing that I'm seeing out of this uh, pandemic. Kung ano man yung digital transformation plan ng Pilipinas at ng mga kumpanya, kung dati 5 to 10 years, ngayon, ginawa nilang biglang 3 months to 4 months kasi yun yung kailangan gawin. Meron din siyang sunset clause. Ibig sabihin nun, if in 3 years after the day of, of its effectivity, uh, the bill will end. So the rules will not apply anymore or earlier depending on the declaration of the President of the Philippines. So again, please take note that this can still change. Malamang magde-debate pa yan. Wala pa yung Senate version dito. Pero more or less, yan ang itsura ng new normal ng Pilipinas. So don't expect for life to return to prior COVID anytime soon. Kasi sinabi na yan ni Harry Roque kanina, ni Secretary Roque during his briefing, the only time where you can see a possible lifting of ECQ and GCQ, yung talagang balik sa dating buhay na lahat bukas, bahala ka kung anong gusto mong gawin, mangyayari lang yan pag nagka-vaccine. And kung titignan nyo yung mga nagsasabi kung gano'ng katagal pa magka-vaccine, can be anywhere from, sabi nga nila Dr. Fauci sa US at nila Bill Gates, malamang 18 months pa yan. So it might take a while. So this is literally the new normal. It's not the normal that you guys are expecting, that we're expecting, but we have to make the most out of it. Ang bigat nun, no? Pero at least it's better than total lockdown. <laughs> so game, punta na tayo sa unboxing. Nakakalungkot. Para naman matuwa tayo. So again, uh, this sneaker was sent over by our good friend Lerwin from Seoul Republic, Philippines. Uh, kung gusto niyo bumili na sapato sa kanila, check out their Instagram account. Uh, they do nationwide shipping. So this is actually the Yeezy 700 Alva. The Yeezy 700 V3 Alva. I'm a huge fan of the V2s. Not really a big fan of the V3s yet because I haven't found the design of the Alva that I actually like. Uh, this is the all black Alva, if I'm not mistaken. So if we pop the box open, ba bam! This is what the shoe looks like. So if you have some sort of like knit upper, some sort of like glowing plastic exoskeleton over here some sort of hard material for the toe box to protect your toes and one of the things that people don't realize i guess about the shoe is that it doesn't have boost so if you take a look at the outsole it's just your typical uh, foam so yung yellow na yan usually and yung boost material that we see with the easy 700 v2 and the v1 but now it's just your typical foam material it's really soft though so hopefully it, it's still as comfortable. Now I won't be able to do an on feet for you guys. Why? Because this is size 10. But that means something. So abangan yun na lang. <laughs> so it might not be this video, but it will be very soon. Abangan ang mga pag giveaway ni Carlo. Because dadalas at dadalas yan. So again guys, this is the Yeezy 700 V3 Alva. Do I like it? It looks nice. It's a black chunky shoe. But will I go out of my way to buy it? Not yet. I'm interested to see what are the other colorways, what are the other things that Kanye and Adidas can still do with the V3. Uh, the white one was actually oh, pretty awesome. This one, not so much. Interested to see where they can take it in the next few months. And probably they'll release something that will really tickle my fancy and make me, you know, uh, really want to get it. It's kind of like the the 380, uh, the 380s. The Alien, mm, I, I wanted to get it to review it, but I sold it because it wasn't something that would wear normally. But for some reason, uh, the 380 Reflective Mist was something that I liked. <laughs> so I bought it. But but yeah, can't say the same yet for this one. Patabangan ninyo, uh, babalay mo, pag-giveaway na lang natin to. So anyway, yun na yun. Actually, I just wanted to do a quick vlog to talk about the new normal. Uh, share with you my insights and my observations about the bill. And let's just stay tuned to the news and keep watching and see what happens. There, There's definitely a lot of things in that bill uh, that's going to be 
very interesting to monitor in terms of execution in the next few months. Guys, I'm always praying for all of you. God bless all of you. Stay safe, stay home. If you need to go out, use sanitation, wear a mask, and as usual, peace. God bless. What's up? Boom. <laughs>